Carlos was driving to work from Oakland, California to San Francisco when he captured footage of a tow truck driving the wrong way on I-580 while fleeing from the police. Just before Carlos crossed paths with the tow truck, it had smashed through a toll booth on the Bay Bridge, and it had also hit a California Highway Patrol car attempting to stop it. Wait, did they just fire a gun? Oh my God, there's a truck coming this way. <gasps> oh, shit. What the f Carlos passed the toll booth moments later and took this picture. A man from Oakland has been charged with multiple felonies after stealing his nephew's tow truck and twice driving it through the Bay Bridge toll plaza in the wrong direction, colliding with a CHP cruiser and eventually hitting a Cadillac Escalade before being stopped. Gary was driving on I-75 from Tampa, Florida to Cape Coral for his daughter's softball tournament. He had autopilot engaged and set to 75 miles per hour when two vehicles, a red car and a white pickup, passed him at a very high velocity. After they passed him, both vehicles swerved dangerously through traffic. Gary thinks they were street racing. Suddenly, he saw everyone braking and the truck flipping over with dust and debris flying everywhere. The truck had lost control and crashed into the guardrail, taking out a big chunk of it. It then rolled over into the median where it finally stopped on its roof. Gary immediately pulled over to see if everyone was okay. First, he approached the driver's side and found the door was stuck shut. He couldn't see into the vehicle because the windows were tinted very dark. He then went to the passenger's side to see if he could get the door open. That's when he started to hear knocking on the passenger's window. The entire time this was happening, the truck was smoking and making popping noises. Not knowing if the truck may catch fire, Gary and another person who'd stopped began prying open the passenger door. They were able to get it open about two feet. To their amazement, they looked in and saw two young men were hanging upside down from their seat belts. They were alert and Gary asked if they were okay. They were obviously shaken up a bit, but both responded that they were fine. One of them proceeded to tell Gary and the other person that they couldn't get their seatbelts off and asked for scissors. By now, lots of other people had stopped to help and one of them came forward with a pocket knife which they were able to use to cut the seatbelts. Amazingly, neither one of the young men had so much as a scratch. Gary stayed to talk to the police, informing them he had footage of the incident, but they told him that they didn't need it and that they reach out if the need arose. Miraculously, the truck hadn't hit any other vehicles. Well done, Gary. Not everyone will go out of their way and put themselves in danger to help others. Wham bam, you're a hero, man. Manuel was exiting I-405 in Costa Mesa, California. There was traffic up ahead, and just as he came to a stop, he noticed something in his rearview mirror. The driver of a Toyota hadn't noticed that traffic had stopped and rear-ended Manuel's Model 3 at full speed. Luckily, nobody was injured in the accident. Manuel currently has an insurance claim open and received an initial repair cost estimate of 36,000 US dollars. The repair shop estimates two to three months to complete the repairs. Doug had parked his Model 3 at the Legion of Honor in San Francisco, California when he heard a car alarm going off in the parking lot. He figured it probably wasn't his, but when he got back, he discovered broken glass and this sentry mode video. A guy wearing pants way too small for him pulled up in a Lexus before jumping out and casing the cars in the lot. He then broke into Doug's Tesla via the passenger side rear window. Unfortunately, Doug had made the mistake of leaving a bag on the floor behind the driver's seat. Doug thinks the guy probably thought it was a laptop bag, but it actually only contained some film. Amazingly, someone found the bag alongside the road and returned it to Doug as he'd left one of his business cards inside. He hasn't filed a police report yet because the SFPD requires victims to file reports in person if they have video footage, and he's not in San Francisco very often. Kalela pulled off the freeway in Santa Barbara, California and encountered a car headed the wrong way up the off-ramp. Coincidentally, and fortunately for everyone else on the highway, a police car was exiting right behind her and the wrong way driver was immediately pulled over. 
Sajitha had taken delivery of his Model 3 only three days before this video was captured. Watch what happened when he left it in a parking garage. A guy in an SUV pulled into the parking space next to his and scratched the entire passenger door. Then the guy had the nerve to take off like nothing had happened. Probably unaware that he'd left video evidence behind, which Sajitha promptly sent to the boys in blue. The police contacted the driver who'd hit Sajitha's Tesla and he agreed to pay for the repairs. This next video is also from Australia, and it's from Ben, who was driving his Model 3 in Melbourne when a driver with bald tires couldn't stop in time and rear-ended a Kia, which proceeded to rear-end Ben's Tesla. This looks like a rather minor bump, wouldn't you say? Let's see if you can guess what the repair bill will be. What do you think Ben's total insurance claim came to? A. 5,000 US dollars B. 20,000 US dollars Or C. 45,000 US dollars And the correct answer is... Drumroll please... C. 45,000 US dollars Of course, this number includes Ben's insurance provider paying for his use of a rental car. Since it took a long time to get the repair parts needed to the shop in Australia, he ended up driving a rental car for four months. Alan's Model 3 was broken into while parked outside of a church in Itchen Abbas near Winchester, England. Alan recorded a very soothing British voiceover for this video before sending it to the police, so let's listen to what happened in his own words. Walks up casing the other cars, checking door handles, looking to see if there's anything in them. Here by my car, he stops and peers in. And then he turns around, pretends to adjust his trousers while having a closer look. Then he walks round in front of my car and looks at one or two other cars. Then comes back past the outside of my car. You can see his shadow stops two cars back and has a look in that car and tries door handles and then now walks back to his own car where he picks up a hammer. Now he runs up to my car, breaks the window, grabs bags that are down under behind the seat. The man stole... <coughs> Whoops, sorry for that guys. I haven't rested my voice for this long in a while. It's actually really cool when you record your own voiceovers, so please, keep it up. The man stole all of Alan's Christmas gifts he'd left behind the seat. If anyone recognizes the man or his car, please notify us and we'll forward the information to Alan. Tyler was out for a joyride in his Model 3 with no particular place to go, just enjoying a ride in his Tesla. Unfortunately, he now regrets going for a drive that day. While he approached a traffic light, a Toyota rear-ended him at full speed, sending Tyler forward to plow through the traffic light. Luckily, nobody was harmed in the violent crash. The police were called, and initially they said they couldn't determine who was at fault. That's when Tyler showed them the Tesla cam footage, and after they'd seen it, the case was open and shut. Matt was driving in High Ridge, Missouri when he was broadsided by a large deer. The deer looked okay, but Matt made a police report and is waiting to hear back about his insurance claim. Ryan was sitting at a red light in Richmond, British Columbia when he witnessed an accident happen right in front of him. Ryan shared his video with both parties and later received a call from an insurance investigator. The investigator told him that neither driver wanted to admit fault in the accident and he asked to use Ryan's Tesla cam video as evidence. Even Ryan is still puzzled about who's at fault, so maybe our audience can help out. Leave a comment and tell us who you think was at fault. Lund was making a left turn at an intersection. While he was waiting for traffic to clear, he witnessed a rather reckless move. The driver in the rightmost lane decided he wanted to make a left turn, so he jumped across two lanes of traffic in the middle of the intersection to cut in front of the turn lane. Luckily, the driver of the Lexus was paying attention and was able to brake in time. Please, don't do stuff like this just to save yourself a few minutes. Take a detour instead. 
Jimmy was driving his Model 3 in Humble, Texas when he got Toyota bumped. Hey, that's not the right bump. Where are all the Honda bumps, by the way? Have they stopped? Or are we saving all the Honda bumps for a special episode? <laughs> Very funny, Wham Bam. I'm guessing you added some evil laughs and horror music there. Well, what do we have next? Let me guess, a Honda bump? Oh no, it's the return of the cart demon. This video is from Jake, who was sitting in his Model 3 in a parking lot when he heard a loud bang. When he got out to see what had hit him, he found this shopping cart. He looked around to see if he could find the cart demon, but he was already prowling for his next victim. And that next victim was AJ. No, 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 no! Ouch! Yeah, hate to see it. We regret to inform you that the cart demon has evolved and is now using barrels. Remember where you saw it first? John in Wisconsin was the first victim of the new barrel demon. John filed a claim with his insurance provider and the repair bill was just over 1200 US dollars. His Tesla is currently in the shop and he's anxious for its return. Jonathan was on his way to work in Topeka, Kansas when the car in front of him broke down on a busy road. Cue strangers to the rescue. Three more people that we can't see ran up to help before they even had the car safely in the parking lot. Jonathan says this is classic, wholesome, Midwestern kindness on display. This submitter was taking his brand new Model 3 out to go bowling with friends. He wanted us to emphasize that it was the first time he'd even driven his car. He'd taken delivery just hours earlier. When he came back, he found this sentry mode video. Luckily, there was no damage, but he can't understand what happened. He's wondering if our viewers can help him solve this mystery. What did that guy throw at his Tesla? David and his girlfriend were pulling into a drive-thru when all of a sudden they heard a loud bang. Roll the Honda bump jingle. Jumpin! Honda bump! Just kidding. Or are we? David says he's not sure who was at fault. The Honda's door was ripped completely off, and the driver was furious at the Mercedes driver who said that the Honda driver had been driving way too fast. The Honda driver said she was going to call the police, but after five minutes, she picked up the door, put it in her car, and drove off. This left David and the Mercedes driver confused about who was actually at fault. So help us out. Is this a Honda bump or a Mercedes bump? Matt and his family were on vacation for a week near Nelson, New Zealand, and decided to go for a walk around the Abel Tasman National Park. They left their Tesla in the parking lot and were gone for a couple of hours. When he returned, Matt found that Sentry Mode had been quite active. When he watched the videos, it turned out a group of hikers had spent several minutes checking out the car and doing hat tricks, amongst other things. 